homesteading, to prepping, to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today it's time to manage our basil. Now, basil's a plant that's really like a weed, but it can't take a freeze. It doesn't come back next year unless you replant it. Uh, but it's our favorite herb. Now, you saw us plant the basil bed, and then about two weeks later, I came out and handpicked the little weeds out of it and left the basil growing. Well, now it's three weeks after that, and it's been so hot and stuff that I haven't been able to come out here and fool with the basil. I showed you the basil in the fertilizer video where I added a little fertilizer to it, uh, but that's all that's been done to it in the last three weeks. I haven't pulled a weed, I haven't done anything. Well, this is what happens. Here's our basil patch. It's hard to tell it from the weed patch. But now this right here is basil. Okay? That's basil. That's a weed. And amongst the basil. So I've got to get those out of there. So I'll show you what I do to maintain my basil crop. margins I can come back with a mower and see exactly where the basil is and mow close to it now what else do I need to do to maintain this basil here we go my problem I can't bend over enough to do it so I have to get down on my hands and knees and get some of these weeds out of here
these old morning glories. Let me bring you down here now to my level and we're going to talk about the other things you need to do. Okay, once you've got the bulk of the weeds out, remember basil's a weed so it's going to do stuff. What I want to do is this time of year, it's already August, so this basil's going to want to start getting ready to go to seed. Well, I don't want it to go to seed yet. I don't want it to go to seed till in September. So what I want it to do is I want this basil to bush out. See how this one's all laid over? Okay? This head is heavy. So I'll just reach over in there and pull that head off like that. And I keep a, a bag. And I'll just throw these in the bag. Now there was one I pulled off by accident. There, I'll put it in the bag. Now I'm going to go through here and pluck out the centers of most of this basil. And what that'll do, oh, it smells so good. I wish you had smell-o-vision. Uh, and what that will do is it will encourage the, the basil to bush out instead of growing straight up and going to seed. It'll have to put on a new seed head. See, I've already got That much basil for Crystal. I'll take her in a, a good bunch of it. And I'm sure she'll probably take some tomatoes. A friend of mine gave me some Cherokee purples. She'll probably take some tomatoes. And we'll probably have a tomato basil salad or something. Okay, and that's that. I have topped most of that basil. There's the, the tops. You see them here in the bag. There's quite a few. I have topped them. Now, that will encourage these basil plants to put on side shoots and bush out. Now, that's how you maintain basil over the year. Now, this basil is going to bush out. Uh, it will get uh, side shoots all over it, and it will really be bushy, and this bed will look twice as big uh, three weeks from now. And it'll have new seed heads out on the side. Well, I probably won't head them anymore. Uh, this will be enough basil for me and Crystal to get four or five uh, freezer bags full of basil come September. Now, by October, as it's cooling down, they get little black spots on them, and we don't like them as well. So it'll be September, probably late September, before I harvest them. But when the nights get back down into the 50s, this basil will start getting black places on it and uh, getting ready to die. So I like to get it harvested before October. So now, if you like this stuff, this homestead and do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. If you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload on Sundays. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.